Hello and welcome to Animal Watch and today we're meeting baby Pyrenean mountain dogs. Look, look, look. They may look soft and fluffy but these fluffy white clouds truly grow to be one of the world's largest and most effective flock guardians. A true wolf in sheep's clothing, their white coats blending them seamlessly into their flock hiding, waiting to wage war on any unsuspecting bears or wolves who fancy one of their beloved sheep for dinner. Plus he'll have a go at any human unlucky to come across him on bike or foot whilst hiking in the Pyrenean mountains. He's easily tall enough to look any enemy in the face and heavy enough to knock one flying. So meet today a true wolf nemesis who looks cute enough that your kids will love him as a pet as much as you'll love him for his protectiveness and loyalty. Meet the Pyrenean mountain dog, Puppy. Now Animal Watch has delivered you the adult Pyrenean mountain dog and we've learned everything about this truly beautiful giant dog breed. He's huge, he loves his trusted humans, kids will adore him, but equally he will stand up to any foe on your property or land, be it animal or human. Unsocialized Pyrenean mountain dogs can quickly become dangerous, and without the correct socialization and upbringing, this fluffy cloud will show his ferocity and independence. Many sheep farmers in France purposely unsocialize their puppies, allowing them to grow up amongst the sheep only, with no human contact. This is in order to bond them with the herd and distrust any person or predator that threatens the flock. So what if you don't want this? You want a pet to live with your kids and other animals as well, and guard your property. Then there is a very strict list of upbringing requirements that you will need to follow in order to accomplish this, as our fluffy cloud is born naturally suspicious and aloof. So who better than to ask advice from than Sandy Tad of Crincarno Pyrenean Mountain Dogs. Last time I was here, I met her giant male Jacko, who is so huge he could put his giant paws on top of my shoulders with ease. The adult males can weigh up to a staggering 120 pounds and stand 32 inches high at the shoulder. Now imagine that charging at you downhill in the footpaths of the Pyrenees with a set of snapping teeth attached to the front and no telephone in sight to call for help. Sandy had previously told me a horror story of one of her puppies being sold to a man who left it unsocialized alone in a shop to guard it overnight. This dog was passed through several owners until it was tragically euthanized due to the extreme aggression it had developed from never meeting a kind person in his life. This is why you must work with your puppy if you want it to become that amazing family pet as well as a guardian breed. Hi, Anna! Hi, Anna! Hi, 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 so good to see you! Hi! Who's this, Anja? Yeah. Oh, she said. Hello. Oh, she smells the dogs nicely. Jack, do you remember me? Jack, He's Jack. smelling my dog. Jack. Jackie, Jackie. Good oh, boy. you're still as massive as ever. Oh, he's sitting on my lap. <laughs> oh. It's about right for a pyrenee. Oh. <laughs> I've got a surprise for you. All right, what's that then? Oh, I'm telling you, I'm going to show you. Oh, come on then, let's let's, let's go. go I've got the... a feeling I know what it is. Oh, but... I've got a feeling you should know what it is. Oh, come on then, come on, let's, let's go. go, let's, let's go. go, let's go see them. Come on then. Them, let's go. that's a clue. That's them. a clue. This way, at the moment <gasps> they're still asleep, <gasps> but we will call them Look. puppy, 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 Babies. puppy, 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 Baby cotton wool pads. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got four out the five. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Look at them! Oh, can we meet them? Of course you can!
Not alone Hello, here. little baby Not girl. Alone Hello. <laughs> Come on, it's Hello. mob time. It's mob time. Hello, Come little on. baby. Come on. Oh, ow! No, no, no! Look at you! You're He'll the probably big give one. me a kiss. He's quite, he's quite, uh, mm -hmm. quite friendly. That one. <laughs> now, as well as teaching your naturally independent puppy how to be social, as you can see here, how the puppies aren't too keen on over affection. It is very important to also remember that they are a giant breed and with this comes another set of rules similar to our giant Irish wolfhounds that need to be followed in order to raise a healthy puppy and protect those growing joints and bones. I sat down with Sandy just to find out. Calm down. Hello, ow! <laughs> We've got an amazing episode today because we've got little tiny baby Pyrenean mountain dogs. How many have we got this time? We've got five. We've got five. How heavy are they and how old are they at the moment? They're ro running around about nine and a half kilos each and they're six weeks. Six weeks old and they are so fun. They look like little clouds with feet. And of course the amazing thing about the Pyrenean mountain dog are their little dew claws on the their back of their feet. They should be fixed to the bone and they should have pads. Each dew claw should wow. have a pad. Wow. So they actually do use them and they should be as low as possible, obviously. As, as low as possible. So that when they do yeah. climb or when they're in the snow, it helps yeah. them. Now the adults are huge. They can put their feet on your shoulders. They're one of the biggest dogs that you can get. They're not as heavy as you think they are going to be for the size that they are. Is it all fur? It's mostly fur, yes, because they are double coated. Yeah. But um, they shouldn't be heavy. They shouldn't be what you call a heavy, gross dog. They should be light, They should be elegant. workable. They're workable. There's been some stories of when people don't socialise their pets yes. enough, yeah. it could go horribly oh, wrong. Oh, it does. And this is a big dog. You don't want a Pyrenean using its weight, using its body, using its teeth against you in any way, shape or form. Yeah. Because they look so fluffy and friendly and yeah. wonderful, but, but of course yours are highly socialised. They've met people, yeah. they're not with the sheep, no. so they are pets. And I get a full sense of security, yeah. but this is not the case, is yeah. it? Or in yeah. the mountains, when they're working, they're, they're, they're tough flock is, as nails. Yeah. Their, their flock is their importance, their flock is their... Their first, their second, their third, waking, breathing, thought. They'll usually work a couple of females with a male, and the male will sit in amongst the sheep. I'm here, but don't call me unless you really need me. And the females will do all the circling. Do you know what? That's so true with a lot of the yeah. other, um, because yeah. of course I was talking to a lady highly experienced in Kangals, mm. another flock guardian breed, yeah. Yeah. and she told me it's actually the females, females. that chase off the yeah. wolves, yes. and the males just go woof, 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 woof. Yes. Let's talk about raising um, a little Pyrenean mountain dog puppy because we're talking again about a large breed and yeah. large breeds have so much more you need to do for them as they're growing. Let's talk about the joints then and the bones. The puppy's eight weeks old yeah. and that person's taken it home with them. What is the advice that you give them about walking the dog, exercising it, taking out, um, jumping on things? We basically try and drum into them that although they're a big breed, and they are a big breed at this age. This is the age you do the damage when you're doing too much walking. They don't need walking. This sort of area for them to play in, to run in, they've got plenty of toys to play with. It's interaction. Mm -hmm. it's interaction is the thing with, with everybody that- So they, good yeah. socialization. Good socialization. So they don't get any fear starting to creep in because That's of course right. they're naturally wary dogs. They're wary dogs, yeah. So the less yes. socialization, the yeah. less meeting people, yeah. the more they're going to be yeah. if you have That's somebody right. come That's around right. your house. That's right. Do you limit them jumping up and down? We say to people, no jumping in and out of cars, no jumping on and off sofas, no jumping up and down steps of any sort. What, until what age? Usually until they're about four, five, six months old, seven months old, and even then we don't we tell them yeah. you don't need Just to limit it. So you teach them to get into a car carefully, and when you bring them out of the car, you teach them to come out carefully, keeping your hands Just underneath really them, calm. very gentle. 
And if um, people have got stairs in their house, do you say put a gate at the bottom and don't have yeah, them going up and down the stairs? Don't have them upstairs anyway. Why should you want a dog upstairs? Because people know. have them go to sleep with them, don't they, on the bed? <laughs> yeah, I know. They do. They do, they do. <laughs> and yeah, I haven't got a problem with that if that's what you want to do. But do you really want a 12 stone dog sleeping on your bed in the middle of summer when you can hardly breathe yourself when it's so hot? <laughs> no, not really. One of the things I mentioned before in the previous episode is noise. Yeah. Now these dogs bark. They are bred to bark. They're bred to get rid of wolves. They're bred to guard property, get rid of people, get rid of They're, they're bred to bark everything. and, and make yeah, yeah, a noise. Yeah. So don't get one if you don't like barking. <laughs> don't get one if you live in a terrace house. <laughs> no, in the middle just of, don't. In the middle of a, a city. Yeah, you're not going to train them out of it. They think for themselves. Yeah. They've been bred to be independent, self-think. To work, yeah. to do the job that they have to do without, without being human. told. It. Let's talk about when you take them out then for a walk. Do you let this breed off? Are they responsive enough to come back? No. They'll, they'll, run, they'll just run they'll off. They'll go. So if they well, see- They won't necessarily run off, but they're deaf. They get deaf here, within, which, within, which is within classic, Within 100 yeah. yards, it's like, I can hear you, but I'm not responding I'm not, to because I, I don't no. care, because no. I'd rather I'm fulfill doing my doing. whims yes. and go see that dog yeah. over there. I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do yeah. that, and I will do this, and I will do that. And obviously, it's their territory, because they're territorial dogs. Yeah. When I let my dogs out in the morning, the first thing they do is go right around this garden, and their own garden. So they're checking That's the perimeter. perimeter. You know, yeah. so if you haven't got a perimeter and you just let them off in a field, they're going to go wherever they, they want to go. Yeah. They're going to turn a deaf ear to you. And with the law changed in this country now, you're in trouble. Yeah, you you've, got, you've trouble. got to be so careful, yeah. haven't yes, you? you? Have. Let's talk about life expectancy. They're a giant breed, aren't yeah. they? Are they as giant as a Great Dane? Or would you say they're a lot healthier because they're more working? A lot healthier. A lot healthier a lot because healthier. the Great Dane is renowned for having heart yeah. problems and yeah. bone Most cancers and stuff like that. Most of the giant breeds have got problems, the, yeah. The Pyrenean Mountain Dog, to me, does not come across as a forced giant breed. It's almost like natural selection yes. giant breeds. Yeah. I've had one to 15, but average, I've had most of mine to 11 or 12. I think it's lineage. It goes back to the breeding and making sure that you've done all the health checks that you need to do and the stud dogs had all the health checks that and you don't need breed to do. from bad lines and don't where breed got from bad lines. High incident yeah. of a certain disorder. Well, yes, this is it. Do you need to feed them up high? We feed on stands. They get broke very easily because yeah, so they're be deep careful. chested. Yeah. So this is another important thing which we always talk about when we talk about the giant yeah. breeds is yeah. when you feed them not to exercise before or after. Before or after, yeah. because that increases yeah. the You shouldn't incident. do it with any dog. It doesn't matter if it's a small one, tall one, or what it is. More so, more so with the big chested, the deep chested breeds, because they gulp. And they get bloat and, and they get twisted bloat. stomach. Very, very and that will kill them rapidly. Okay, so now we're gonna ask the question that we always ask. So Sandy, yeah. can an adult one of these kill a wolf when they're in the Pyrenean mountains one-on-one? -on -one? Truth. They would have, if they had to, they would. You think Much? they could, or do you think you need a few of them to no. do it? No, they would. You think one-on-one, -on -one, a big one -on -one. male could? Yeah, yeah, but a proper, what I call a proper dog that's been brought up in France with its sheep. If it had to, it would. It'd much rather chase them off, they're not a killing dog. Yeah. In conclusion, after meeting both the adults and the puppies, I think that I've gauged everything about this breed. Firstly, they are a giant breed, which means careful upbringing, huge amounts of socialization if you want them to like strangers. But also this means more expense, higher vet bills, more fur, larger house, good amount of garden slash land in order for them to feel like they are doing the job that they were bred to do, which is to patrol a space and guard everything inside it. They are also very noisy, so don't get one if you live between houses on a quiet street, as you'll drive your neighbours mad. They will love you and give you affection, but like the Alaskan Malamute, this is dished out in small doses. Be prepared for an aloof disposition and a strong independent spirit. These won't be good for obedience training and not to be let off the lead, but will adore you if they have their own land to protect. Good luck. And if you missed the adult episode, you can click the info bar now where you can catch up on this. If you want to find out more about Sandy and her amazing Pyrenean Mountain Dogs, what's your website that you like everyone to visit? It's www.ficarnopyrenean, all one word, 
uh, dot live dot co Don't dot worry, we'll, we'll write it here on the screen <laughs> and in the description so you can find it really, really easily. Don't even know my own website as well. There you go. And if you enjoyed this episode, full of little fluffy white clouds that are going to grow up to be formidable flock guardians, then please give us a big thumbs up and click the button in the bottom hand corner if you want to subscribe to Animal Watch and be sure to watch the adult episode. I'll put a click in the link at the end of the episode in the description at the top so you can find it. And be sure to tune in every week when we'll be bringing you more amazing episodes on dogs, wolves, animal rescue and conservation. Bye from me and bye from Bye for me. <laughs> and Sandy, of course. <laughs> Bye. 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 Give me away. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>